everybody and welcome back to Monday Movie Hunting, the best ways to watch your week. Da -da 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 -da. Today is Monday and it is, I've got the light on, I'm in my room, it's about five o'clock and it is dark. Uh, the clocks went back yesterday, yes, the clocks went back yesterday so now we're into like dark times, so lighter in the morning, darker in the evening and it goes dark really quick. So it's kind of weird, um, but I was going to say last week but it actually worked out alright that this week's video might be up late or it might be filming it late because I had a lot of things to do uh, in the day today but it's actually it hasn't really made a difference um because I have been going later anyway um but yeah so that was that was all I had to say on that but it is dark so I can't really film in the car um today because like I say you won't be able to see me but let's head over to St. Reese and see if they have the two movies that I'll be picking up I'm really really hoping they do because I'd really like to watch one of them this evening um, I know it's kind of like nearly Halloween, it's Halloween tomorrow so I hope everyone has a happy Halloween and I hope you'll all have a fun and safe time and yeah so neither of them are actually like Halloween-y but still I just kind of fancied watching one of them because they're both kind of quite relaxing easy going films I think so I'm kind of in the mood for that type of thing so hopefully they'll have at least one of them and then I can I can watch that one uh, or hopefully they'll have two that'd be better but um, we'll see I don't know if like some of them may be a bit obscure but Sainsbury's do seem to be having some kind of more underdog movies in so you never know so let's head off to Sainsbury's and see what they they've got and what I'm picking up also I've just realized I'm expecting it to be really busy actually I went to the shop um, yesterday and the day before and the day before, like the past few days that I've been to the shop it's been crazy busy like I mean insanely busy like more than usual and I had to go to a not Sainsbury's but just like a little other shop earlier today and it was so busy like I couldn't believe it I had to really queue for a really long time there was a massive queue in the shop it was like B&M um and yeah so I actually realized it's gonna be really busy so it might be hard to film so hopefully you guys will not mind about that and also if I'm speaking like quieter it's because I've got a bit of a sore throat so that's why I feel like I'm whispering but I'm not but I think it's because usually I'm like I speak so loud with so much excitement that this is my toned down speaking anyway so I just wanted to give you a disclaimer there of I realized it might be busy so we'll see how this goes and as I suspected I was only able to pick up one of the two films so I am going to order the other one on Amazon in a second I'll actually do it before I finish filming this video otherwise the time cut off thing um because I got Amazon Prime so hopefully it'll come tomorrow to be honest the other one I was planning on watching tonight but I'll probably watch this one and it's fine and I still haven't finished watching them from last week so I really need to catch up. So the one that I did manage to pick up is Hampstead. I'm really surprised this one was in the shop because this is the one that wasn't like shown on the website that I look at. Like shown that it was coming out today but I noticed it was coming out today via Amazon. And some of you guys did guess this so well done if you did. Uh, this has Diane Keaton and Brendan Gleeson. Uh, it just looks really cute and like a really nice film that I'll enjoy and again quite a relaxing film. I think my mum will enjoy this one too. I'm really hoping that it'll be good. So yeah, that's that one. And then the other film that I'm picking up but I haven't picked up yet, well, that I couldn't pick up because it wasn't there, I'm surprised that it wasn't there actually, I didn't know that it was, I don't know, I thought it was quite a big release but I guess not, is The Book of Henry. Yes, okay, I've heard some mixed things about this but I'm really excited for it because one, it's got the boy, like the main boy in this is the boy from St Vincent. I absolutely love St Vincent. And the other boy in it is the boy from Room and he was fantastic as a child actor. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited for this one. I just thought it looked like a nice family film and I'll be really looking forward to watching it. So I'll have to order that one. I'm going to do that right now as we head to the guessing sheet to see who guessed those two correctly. Okay, so we have four correct guesses this week. We have Spoonamum, who is now on 20. We have Paul Balfour and shuffling down wait did I just miss one no um we have David and George 
on six. So the four people who guessed correctly, let's head back to other me. Okay, so well done if you guessed correctly. That is awesome because it was a really hard week, but I know a few people did guess correctly, so that is really awesome to see. Um, and there's quite a lot that came out this week, so let's talk about that. But I have now ordered the Book of Henry. It's on the way for tomorrow, and it had one hour and like 19 minutes, so managed to make it in there. Um, okay, so main film today, Transformers The Last Night. Transformers 5? Yeah, Transformers 5. Transformers 5 came out today. I haven't seen 3 or 4. So I own 3 and 4, haven't seen them. 3 is on my shelf. It's the film I need to watch. Like, ASAP, it's the only one I need to watch on the shelf that I'm currently working on. Um, so I will be watching that soon, but it's kind of long. They're all long. Like, I looked it up, I posted a tweet about it. I was like, why do these Transformers movies need to be so long? I don't know. So yeah, haven't seen it. Haven't heard the best of things about it though, so let me know your thoughts on the Transformers films as a whole in the comments down below. I didn't enjoy number two, so I guess it kind of put me off at that point. Um, next that came out we had It Comes at Night. I've heard some pretty good things about this, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. This is like a horror film with someone in who I know and name I've forgotten. Another film that came out today which I think is pretty popular and quite a few people guessed unfortunately is The House or House with Will Ferrell and Amy Polar, is that how you say her name? Um, I'm interested in that one but I definitely will pick it up when it's cheaper because I think uh, I think I'll enjoy it but I don't think I'll love it. I do like both of the main people but I just I've watched a bit of the trailer and eh, so I will pick that one up at some point again maybe in a HMV deal or something like that. Oh I know the other one, I know the other film, the other film that I was nearly gonna pick up. Okay I was like wait I'm sure there's something else that I actually was really interested in as well. Yes my cousin Rachel Really interested in that one, really liked the cast, thought it seemed interesting, mystery, thriller type of a jig, looks really cool. Let me know if you've seen that one in the comments below because I am really interested in that one. And I nearly was going to pick up three and then I was like, hmm, Michael and Rachel could go either way. I could either really enjoy it or it could be just okay. So I thought I'll just wait on it because I've got a lot of stuff to watch. I definitely want to have all my Monday movie hunts watched uh, before the end of the year. So. That's really important. So yeah, lots of films came out today, lots of releases, and of course, again, it is the end of October now. October has been a great month for movies, which is good. November, November's a pretty good month for movies as well. So speaking of next week, okay, I don't actually know how many I'm picking up next week yet, so pause a moment. Okay, yes, so I have decided, I just needed to check something, three movies for next week. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. I hope you guys will guess correctly. I think it's going to be pretty easy. Hopefully. I, th I think it will. But I'm worried people will pick something that I'm not picking up. But anyway, that's always the case, I suppose. I thought you guys did pretty well this week, considering how many things were coming out. Um, but yes, yeah, so a three for next week. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. We've not got much money movements left of this year, so yeah, it's all kind of coming to an end for 2017, which is kind of weird. Uh, but yeah, I'd love to know your thoughts. And on all the films that came out today, so we had Transformers, Hampstead, Book of Henry, um, My Cousin Rachel, House, or whatever it's called, um, and It Comes at Night. Six pretty big releases so let me know your thoughts and I will see you guys then. Thank you for watching, thumbs up if you enjoy Monday Movie Hunting. I'll see you then. Goodbye!